what's up YouTube, cool story bro bat with the 63rd narrative of Pokemon Showdown Battle. This one's against my buddy g Dog 12345 And this is an OU battle, had it a couple weeks ago like always because I really suck at maintaining consistency with my uploads. And yeah, this battle was back when I, he was in his early phase of actually using OU Pokemon and OU. What I mean by that is like, he would challenge me in OU, right? And he'll use a Pineco at level 1. Or he'll use a Pharaoh Seed, or a Darumaka, or most comically, a Spex Audino. I'm, I'm dead serious. He used Spex Audino, and he will not hesitate to tell you about it. <laughs> and I just, I just, I was like, dude, you need to use some actual OU Pokemon. So, this is like one of his early teams when he started doing that. And looking at his team, the synergy is kind of interesting. I'm not even going to talk about my team, because you already know how it works. And if you don't, watch the battle I had before this one. Or just keep watching in this battle, whatever. But I want to talk about his team synergy, like Thunderous T, Venusaur, Haxorus, Staraptor, all got one thing in common. They're all weak to ice. Okay, Metagross and Darmanitan, they're both weak to ground. Uh, Venusaur and Haxorus are both grounded and do not resist it at all whatsoever. His only two Pokemon who resist ground are both horribly weak to rock. On top of that, he's also got Darmanitan who's weak to rock. No rapid spinners, no nothing. I mean, like stuff like Mamoswine, Sandslash, Terrakion could really run through his team. But let's just see how this goes because you never really know. You never really know. I'm not sure what his team's gonna do. It's highly offensive. But let's begin. I lead off with Reptar, my Tyranitar, just to get the sand up. He goes for Swords Dance on turn one. I hit him with my hardest move, Choice Bandit Stone Edge. Doesn't KO him. For whatever reason, he has a Citrus Berry. I don't know why. But he kills me with the plus two earthquake. And I ain't got no other revenge killer. So I send in Sandy Claws to just kill it off with Earthquake, because none else I have is really much faster or effective. He switches in his Thunderous T. And now he's gonna brag on this play that he predicted me with the hidden power grass. But there's two things. One, he got the critical hit. Two, Thunderous T usually runs grass now, which doesn't do crap to Rotom Wash. But he actually has played me enough to the point that he would expect that. So he kinda customized it just to face me. So anyway, I know, I'm assuming he's choiced and I send in Cold Shran to revenge kill and he sent in his Metagross. I set up my Stealth Rock, his Metagross goes for the Earthquake and kills off my, um, my Heat Ran. And I send in Sandy Claws, my Sand Slash, just to set up the plus two because I know I can take whatever hit he has. He switches in his Venusaur as I go for Source Dance, I kill him off for Earthquake. We all good. He goes for Bullet Punch and wow, that did a ton of damage. So I'm thinking he might have been Choice Bandit. He just might have been Choice Bandit. So he sends in his Thunderous T. I go for the Stone Edge. I didn't do that earlier because I wasn't sure if it would have KO'd without a boost. And plus he was at full HP earlier. But then he sends in his Staraptor and goes for the Quick Attack on me. And it kills off my Sand Slash. I'm like, what? Yo, how did you do that? How did you kill my Sand Slash? What a so I'm thinking his Staraptor might also be Choice Bandit or something. And this doesn't really occur to me until after this battle. And here I am with Conqueror going for bulk up when he gets another quick attack off on me. And gets the critical hit that I wasn't anticipating. And now here's where I make a stupid play. He goes for quick attack again. And it's like, bro, bat, what are you doing? What are you doing? There's a Staraptor in front of you. And you're using a... Uh. But basically, I kind of misplayed it because I didn't really think his Staraptor was Choice Bandit until afterwards. I thought he was going to Brave Bird the next turn, so I was going for Mock Punch. But he went for Quick Attack, which I'll spend my Mock Punch anyway. And now, here's the critical part. He sends in his Darmanitan. I switch, send in my Jelly Beans. And he went for the U-Turn on me, which didn't kill me. I hit him with a Side Shock, which didn't even kill him, but the Sand finished him off after Stealth Rock. The funniest part about this whole thing was that if he used Flare Blitz, he could have won his battle. Flare Blitz hits harder than a super effective U-Turn if you don't resist it. So, there's that. But either way, good game, g Dog 12345 Like, comment, subscribe, favorite if you enjoyed this battle. It went by super fast. Like, this battle went by faster than I was actually expecting it to go by, for real. Like, it felt like it was way longer when I was playing it out. But anyway, I kind of did mess up with the whole Staraptor thing. And I could have more securely won it, but stuff happens. I wasn't expecting a critical quick attack. I wasn't expecting the choice ban, and I honestly think his Metagross might have also had choice ban, but that's eh, whatever. Choice bans will make her dance. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, deuces.